Hello, in this lecture we're going to record the transaction of receiving cash for work that has been completed. This is kind of one of our favorite transactions as the business. We did work here and we are receiving cash at that same point in time. At the point in time that we completed the work, we are then receiving cash. We're going to record the transaction on the left hand side. That's where the journal entry will go on the right hand side. We will post that transaction in a shorthand fashion to the trial balance to see the impact. At this point in time, we have assets here in green, liabilities in orange, equity in blue, including the capital count and the income statement revenue minus expenses. We have the debits equaling the credits to the 100 cash minus the capital of the 100,000. In this case, debits minus the credits equals zero. And we have no income at this time because nothing is down here in the income statement. Now we received cash. So what's the transaction going to be? Questions. First, is cash inf impacted or affected? In this case, it is. We are receiving cash. So anytime you say receiving, that's, an, that's going to be cash going into the business. And therefore, cash is going up. How do we make something go up? We do the same thing to it. Now we can see that cash has a debit balance normally before we record this transaction. Therefore, in order to do the same thing to it, we will then debit it again. So we're going to debit cash. Cash is going to go up with a debit. If we record that transaction, we can see that cash is here at 100000 We are going to debit that cash, and that will mean that the debit will increase the debit to a debit of 110000 We will then have to credit something. So we're getting cash. Why? Because we did work. We then earned the work, and that is represented by revenue. So revenue is going up, and it's important to note that cash and revenue are not the same thing. Revenue represents us earning something. In this case, that something got paid within cash, but we could have got paid with something else. So remember to separate those things. Cash is not the same as revenue. Revenue has a credit balance all the time, and it only goes up in the credit direction for the most part, as it's doing here. So we're going to credit revenue, increasing the revenue account. What's the impact on the accounting equation? Well, we know that assets went up liabilities nothing's happened in these orange areas and the equity section is going up now the equity section remember accounts for all of this blue activity so what's the impact on the net income we can see that net income went from zero up in the credit direction so it's actually increasing in the credit direction we are back in balance because the total debits the 100 but the 100 is what we started with and then we we had the transaction of a debit of 10,000 and a credit of 10,000 means that if we add those up, then the total cash of 110000 is now uh, a, a debit, and the credit is to owner's capital here, and a credit to revenue that is earned, meaning that the debits equal the credits, with the debits minus the credits equal zero, and we have that 10000 of income at this time.